Well, the University of California, San Francisco, UC San Francisco, recently invited author and critical theorist Dante King to deliver a lecture during Black History Month. And in this lecture, he made several racially charged statements, to say the least. Things like, white people are psychopaths, and that it is a written law that you can rape black women. Well, rape is not tolerated anywhere in America, of course. That's completely false. If you think it's hard to believe that these kinds of things were said, well then, listen for yourself. Whites are psychopaths. We're going to, we have it written in the law, you can rape black women. But we've never been a racist country. We then get to Ron DeSantis. He says, in Florida, we're taking a stand against the state-sanctioned racism that is critical race theory. We won't allow Florida tax dollars to be spent teaching kids to hate our country or hate each other, only to hate black people. We will invest dollars in that. Mm -hmm. You see, the truth is that CRT, critical race theory and diversity, equity and inclusion policies teach kids to hate whiteness and hate white people, and this video is proof, again, if you have any doubts, whites are psychopaths. Blacks can never be racist. It's all the white guy's fault, big bad whitey, something that was supposed to be educational turned racist because of that man. Joining me now to discuss this and the video as a whole, campus reform correspondent, Lena Branch. Lena, how are you? I'm good, how are you? N nice to see you again. A am I a bad guy? A am, am I the problem? A am, am I it? Because, you know, I'm told I'm it and only I can be racist and it's white people like me that are the cause of all evil, not just in America, but globally. I mean, a am I the problem? No, absolutely not. And and this is what is honestly comical about this lecture is because that anyone can be a, a racist and this anti-white narrative is completely false. And so in honor of Black History Month, this lecturer was brought to this campus, Dante King. And just as you said, he said that whites were psychopaths, which is absolutely insane to come out of a person's mouth. And it just shows that his aim is to actually foster racism and foster this anti-white narrative. Um, and that is exactly what he was doing through this lecture, and he knows it. Yeah, so he, he, here's the thing. He's saying this to college kids who you would hope would be smart enough to say, oh, come on, stop being an idiot, because he's preaching ignorance. The problem, Lena, is this. This kind of filth, and it really is filth, is being preached in elementary school, in middle school, in high school, it's on TikTok, it's in the social media. This garbage that somehow, oh, you're white. Only white people can be racist. I guess Chinese people can't be racist, and Hispanic people can't be racist. Black people absolutely can't be racist. I mean. I mean, I just saw, I mean, you see this every day on, on the internet. Of course you can be racist. Somebody has a Webster's Dictionary, don't they? They can read, they can understand what, what racism is by definition, right? Disliking another race, pretty simple stuff here. H how do we get to a place where there's so much ignorance just being churned out? It's, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a, an industry of stupidity. <laughs> where am I wrong? <laughs> You're 100% correct. And I, I mean, I want to go back to that point where he's pointing out that Ron DeSantis, you know, eliminated CRT in Florida. And it was because this is teaching hate within the school system. But he thinks that they're going to start funding tax dollars to hate uh, black people, which was never the point. Um, completely false. He's lying. It's a completely false narrative. No fa factual evidence. Um, but instead of admitting that, you know, there are all different sides to this. Anyone can be racist, but this country has come a long way. And to just say that, you know, we're just going to start turning it on the other side and, um, you know, it's OK to be racist to another um, race just because you feel like you're oppressed. Um, it's not acceptable and it's not it's not it should not be tolerated at all. Well and here's the thing, to be fair, this is not unique to UC San Francisco. This is happening all over the country. I see, so you've seen these stories. Oh, here's a story about uh, they're having a blacks only graduation or a blacks only party or this for people of color only or this for women only, whatever it is. All of the things that Martin Luther King Jr. fought for, all of the things that everybody that supported him that were Black people, white people, people of all backgrounds and religions and sex came together for civil rights so that we would have equality in this country, not the ability to say, oh, we're going to segregate again. We don't want segregation. 
We got rid of that in the 1960s. There's a reason for that. We have moved forward because the doctrines of this country gave us the ability to improve America every generation. We've tried to do that, but I feel like we're going backwards. And, I, and again, I come back to, to the word filth. This filth is taking us backwards. What do you say? Well, you're right, and this is not the only school that's experiencing this. Um, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, they recently filed a civil rights lawsuit because there was a fellowship program that was supposed to be exclusively for BIPOC individuals, those people of color, but you know, it would exclude all of the white people that were probably qualified for this program but could not get in. And it's just as you say that these higher um, institutions of education are basically purchasing these ideas of racism um, and DEI and discrimination and selling them to students, um, disguising them as a proper education, uh, something that's going to set them up for success and something that is going to enhance their critical skills. And we know from looking at all these trends in these schools that that's not the case and they're really doing their students a disservice. Yeah, they're doing their students a disservice. Students are supposed to be there to uh, share ideas, the best ideas. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if it's a black student with the best idea or a white kid with a, that's like short, <laughs> uh, tall, big, it doesn't matter. If you've got a good idea, put it out there. But so many people on the right are afraid to even talk anymore because of this kind of, you know, insulting behavior. White kids, especially, probably just sit there and don't say anything. They just sit there in their seat and stare because if they say anything, the, this little mob mentality, this little rent-a-riot type thing, that you know, they just attack them. Well, how can you? I mean, this hateful behavior marginalizing anyone is just flat wrong, Lena. I'll give you the last word. You're 100 percent correct. And, and like I said, this is a trend that we're seeing. Um, these schools are willing to pay up to two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars well into uh, six figures. And this is something that Leadership Institute's campus reform has covered. Um, just the amount that they are willing to sacrifice and uh, pay for these ideas to teach these kids false information and to hate each other is astounding. And so for me, being a um, who I am and what I look like and having a mixed um, be mixed background, I know that this is not okay to hate either side um, and we need to move on um, as Americans and not focus on race anymore. Well, thankfully, I'm not the problem after all. Lena, I, I greatly appreciate you clearing that up for me because I was, you know, anyhow, it, it's really ridiculous. We got to stop teaching division in America and start teaching putting Americans together. We're always been the great melting pot. Let's get back to what we believe in. Lena Branch, thank you for being here. Thank you. Really appreciate it. She's terrific. All right, coming up after the break, Democrat-backed billionaires have found ways to control elections in red districts, but now someone's stepping up and doing something about that. Former New Hampshire State Senator Jim Rubens joins me next to discuss what he's proposing. It's coming up on America's Voice Live.